Paris, 1900. A man walks onto the stage of the International Congress of Mathematicians. In his hand, not a discovery, but 23 questions, each one a door, locked and waiting. He called them the problems of the century. They would haunt mathematicians for the next hundred years. Some were solved, some shattered worlds. A few remain untouched, unsolved to this day. His name was David Hilbert. The man who wrote them believed that mathematics could conquer the infinite. David Hilbert was born on January 23, 1862, in Königsberg, Prussia, a city renowned for its intellectual heritage and home of philosopher Immanuel Kant. His father, Otto Hilbert, served as a government official and maintained a disciplined household while his mother, Maria Therese Kober, fostered intellectual curiosity and encouraged education. The Hilbert household valued learning and conversation, providing an environment in which ideas could flourish, and it often exposed young David to discussions that spanned philosophy, literature, and the sciences. This early immersion in a culture of knowledge laid the groundwork for the intense curiosity and logical rigor that would define his later work. From a very young age, Hilbert displayed a fascination with numbers, patterns, and the structures underlying them. While other children engaged in play, he spent hours exploring mathematical problems, experimenting with simple algebraic relationships, and observing the geometric properties of objects around him. His early schooling at the Königsberg Gymnasium provided a rigorous classical education, encompassing Latin, Greek, and philosophy, alongside mathematics. Teachers noted his exceptional ability to grasp abstract concepts and his discipline in approaching even the most complex problems, recognizing that he was a student whose talents were rare even among the most promising peers. In 1880, Hilbert enrolled at the University of Königsberg, where he came under the guidance of Ferdinand von Lindemann, known for proving the transcendence of Pi, and Adolf Hurwitz, a leading figure in algebra and analysis. Hilbert immersed himself in studies of algebra, number theory, and geometry, developing a deep understanding of both classical problems and emerging methods. His doctoral dissertation, completed in 1885, focused on the invariant theory of ternary forms, demonstrating originality and logical rigor. This work marked his emergence as a mathematician capable of producing insights of exceptional depth and precision. Following his dissertation, Hilbert began publishing papers that garnered attention throughout Europe. His early work was noted not only for technical accuracy, but also for its conceptual clarity, demonstrating a rare ability to unify previously fragmented areas of mathematics. At the same time, he fulfilled his habilitation, teaching at Königsberg and mentoring younger students, gaining recognition as both a scholar and a teacher. By his mid-twenties, Hilbert had established a reputation as a rising star in mathematics, a young man whose combination of intellect, discipline, and vision promised to shape the future of the discipline. In 1895, David Hilbert accepted a professorship at the University of Göttingen, one of Europe's most prestigious centers for mathematics. At that time, Göttingen had a long-standing reputation for excellence, but Hilbert's arrival marked the beginning of its transformation into a global powerhouse for mathematical research. He immediately set about cultivating an environment that combined rigorous scholarship with intellectual creativity, encouraging colleagues and students alike to tackle challenging problems with both precision and imagination. Hilbert's presence alone drew talented mathematicians from across Europe, creating a vibrant academic community that would define the trajectory of 20th century mathematics. Hilbert's own research during this period was extraordinary in both breadth and depth. He developed the Hilbert basis theorem, which provided a foundation for modern algebra, and advanced the theory of ideals, unifying previously fragmented approaches in the study of polynomials and algebraic structures. 
His work on quadratic forms clarified the properties of complex number systems, and his contributions to algebraic number fields laid the groundwork for the future development of class field theory. Through these achievements, Hilbert not only solved important mathematical problems, but also established methods and frameworks that would guide generations of researchers. Equally significant was Hilbert's role as a mentor. At Göttingen, he supervised and inspired a remarkable generation of mathematicians, including Hermann Weil, Emmy Noether, and John von Neumann. Hilbert encouraged his students to pursue originality and logical rigor, fostering an intellectual culture where the boundaries of mathematics could be explored fearlessly. He was not only a teacher of techniques, but also a guide to thinking mathematically, cultivating creativity, persistence, and clarity of thought. Hilbert's prominence was soon recognized internationally. He was elected to the Prussian Academy of Sciences, received numerous honorary doctorates, and was celebrated with medals and accolades across Europe. Correspondence and collaboration with contemporaries, including Minkowski, Klein, and other leading mathematicians, underscored his central role in the global mathematical community. By the end of the 19th century, Hilbert's reputation as a mathematician, mentor, and leader was firmly established. Göttingen had become the world's leading center for mathematical thought, and through both his own research and his guidance of others, Hilbert shaped the intellectual landscape of the era. His work in algebra, number theory, and early foundations of mathematics laid a platform upon which future advances, including his later formalist and axiomatic contributions, would be built. At Göttingen, David Hilbert emerged not merely as a brilliant mathematician, but as the architect of a new intellectual world. At the dawn of the 20th century, David Hilbert had already established himself as one of the preeminent mathematicians of his generation. Yet his ambitions extended far beyond solving existing problems. He sought to understand the very foundations of mathematics itself. In 1899, he published Foundations of Geometry, a work that would transform the study of space and logic. In it, Hilbert approached Euclidean geometry not as a set of empirical observations, but as a rigorously axiomatic system, carefully examining the consistency, independence and completeness of its foundational principles. This work clarified the logical underpinnings of geometry and influenced mathematicians and philosophers across Europe, including Bertrand Russell cementing the notion that mathematics could and must be built upon clearly defined axioms. Hilbert's approach to the foundations of mathematics did not stop at geometry. He sought to formalize arithmetic, aiming to establish a framework in which every mathematical truth could, in principle, be derived from a finite set of axioms using logical deduction. This vision, later known as Hilbert's program, sought to demonstrate the consistency and completeness of mathematical systems, an ambitious undertaking that would challenge generations of mathematicians. His efforts laid the groundwork for formal logic and proof theory, fields that would ultimately intersect with the groundbreaking work of Kurt Gödel, whose incompleteness theorems would both challenge and extend Hilbert's vision. In 1900, at the International Congress of Mathematicians in Paris, Hilbert presented a set of 23 unsolved problems. These questions spanned number theory, algebra, analysis, and mathematical physics, encompassing both practical calculations and abstract logical challenges. Problems such as the continuum hypothesis, the Riemann hypothesis, and Hilbert's tenth problem were not merely exercises in curiosity. They were carefully chosen to highlight the frontiers of mathematical knowledge and to direct future research. By formalizing and articulating these challenges, Hilbert provided the mathematical community with a roadmap for the 20th century, inspiring research that continues to this day. Hilbert's pursuit of the infinite was both a testament to his intellectual audacity and a gift to the world, a vision of mathematics as a unified, rigorous and endlessly fascinating discipline.
As Hilbert entered the later decades of his life, his intellectual pursuits extended beyond pure mathematics into the realm of physics. He made significant contributions to mathematical physics, including work on integral equations and the formal development of what would later be called Hilbert spaces, a foundational framework for quantum mechanics. In 1915, Hilbert independently formulated the gravitational field equations of general relativity almost simultaneously with Albert Einstein, demonstrating the deep interplay between mathematics and physical law. His correspondence and collaboration with Einstein and other leading physicists exemplified his ability to navigate both abstract reasoning and applied science, bridging two worlds that would define modern theoretical thought. Despite his towering intellect, Hilbert was known for his modesty, discipline, and devotion to his work. Outside mathematics, he enjoyed music, literature, and philosophical inquiry, reflecting a broad curiosity that informed his scientific thinking. Married to Keta Yerosh, he maintained a close family life, balancing his research with the care of his household. Even amid the political turmoil of early 20th century Germany, including the disruptions of World War I and the rise of Nazism, Hilbert remained committed to teaching, research, and the welfare of his students, supporting colleagues who faced persecution and emigration. David Hilbert passed away on February 14, 1943, in Göttingen, leaving behind a body of work that transformed mathematics, influenced physics, and inspired generations of thinkers. His life combined intellectual audacity with rigorous discipline, mentorship with groundbreaking research and abstract reasoning with practical insight. Hilbert's legacy endures not only in the theorems, axioms and problems that bear his name, but also in the generations of mathematicians and physicists who continue to explore the infinite landscapes he first dared to chart.